Hojong Solution of Korea was the first place winner of the Late Kibu Challenge at the 2020 Africa Drone Forum, organized by the World Bank in Rwanda. Utilizing one of the most advanced fixed-wing commercial UAV, the Remo M, Hojong took the top spot in the field of find a success category of the competition, uh, competing at the highest level of global drone technology. This experience proved to be an exp exemplary case demonstrating the top level of Korean drone technology and the diverse innovative approach for drone application services Hojong Solution is committed to providing that will truly bring leaping benefits. The government of Rwanda, in partnership with the World Bank, the World Economic Forum, UK Aid, the NIDA, the Republic of Korea, the World Food Programme, and UNICEF, alongside a network of African grassroots drone organizations and NGOs, hosted the 2020 Africa Drone Forum in Kigali. With the Symposium of Global Drone Policy Experts and the Expo of Drone Equipment, the event's key highlight included a flying competition on Lake Kivu to demonstrate the latest breakthrough in drone technology. In terms of its scale, the magnitude of contents and quality of participants, the Africa Drone Forum Lake Kivu Challenge was one of the most impactful global collaborative steps to create a practical framework for UAV policy, use case application, and technology. Through this event, Hojong took tangible business steps to forge new partnership and and created overreaching opportunities to shape, showcase our business model. Indeed, the ADF established ongoing efforts that has brought together policymakers, drone enthusiasts, experts, and industry leaders to continuously explore potential use case applications for UAV technology on the African continent. Africa is becoming a model opportunity to share expertise in pioneering the use of beyond visual line of sight, UAV operations, and the development of drone regulation. The ADF have really tested the minds of engineers, regulators, entrepreneurs, and investors promoting new industries and services that harness data for delivery and resilience, create activity hubs, and opportunities to leapfrog technologies and develop skill sets for the 21st century jobs. As Ricardo Politi, Global Director of Global Bank's Energy and Extractive Industries put it, skies above Africa can be turned into valuable resources for the utilization of drones with immense capacity to build sustainable infrastructure. Hojong shares this vision and has embraced this experience as a great motivator to provide impactful drone solutions to our customers. The flying competition was a true test to drone operation in many different aspects. After a rigorous evaluation and pre-screening process that took several months in 2019, a dozen finalists were selected to compete at the Lake Kivu Challenge. Drone labs, drone solution companies, and major manufacturers from the, around the world brought their best platform to showcase their latest drone technologies to Lake Kivu. Invited companies came from Europe, America, and Africa with Hojong Yukon System of Korea, giving the honor to, the, to be the only company representing Asia. Hojong has, uh, as a drone technology ambassador, is prepared to step up with the process of creating more realistic regulations, effective training programs, and knowledge sharing to bring sustainability and resilience to the use of drone technologies. Hojong competed in the find and assess category of the competition. In this event, teams took off from Korongi Drone Port, and the objective was to fly to Bugaruru Island in Lake Kivu and accurately identify and ex exact GPS locations of certain targets 20 kilometers beyond visual line of sight and return to their drone port. The team that identified the most targets with the most accurate coordinates in a given time frame was the winner. Participating teams were evaluated for their flight protocol, emergency procedures, and safety features in the, f in the, in the flight <coughs> program, telemetry, and hardware. 
A team of aviation regulation experts and drone engineers scrutinize each of the finalists through the whole week of demonstration and extensive live uh, flight tests. The Remo M, the platform showcase for the anticipated event, passed inspection with high praises. Hojong has a strategic partnership with the manufacturer of Remo M, the fixed wing drone that was flown in the final NSS competition. The Remo M, uh, derived from Remo Mapper, is manufactured by Yukon System of Korea. Yukon System is one of the large, largest drone makers in Korea, solely dedicated in the design, development, and production of drones, and prides itself for applying homegrown Korean technology in every facet of drone production. Its platform, platforms is diverse, ranging from multi-rotor to fixed wing, VTOL, and USV. The Remo M was first developed as a military surveillance unit with specs that meet high demands of military requirements, such as payload uh, versatility, high endurance of 90 minutes, precise takeoff and landing, and highly reliable telemetry. The community of drone experts gathered at Lake Kivu were particularly impressed by the technology and precision behind the deep stall landing featured uh, by the aircraft. Its precision as a commercial drone has evolved through, the, through several uh, generations of Remo M through improved uh, simplicity of flight planning, software, and intuitive user interface. Oblique image with roll X gimbal makes it ideal for image capturing and assessment missions. The Remo M stands as the most advanced fixed wing UAV in its class, delivering exceptional efficiency, flight mission flexibility, and simplicity. Ho Jung has over 5,000 sorties using the Remo M. It has been a humbling experience for Ho Jung to share the same stage with the, with the best drone engineer, engineering minds around the world, including companies from Germany, Switzerland, and USA, to mention a few, and to have built a meaningful relationship and camaraderie with, the, with, with these companies. Ho Jung credits his success in this global platform to its persistent search in Africa to showcase innovative case, uh, use cases. As a specialized geomatics engineering company, Ho Jung has embraced UAV technology since 2013, and it has accumulated years of experience in drone operations. Uh, not many companies surpass the drone flight hours, and our pilots are truly outliers when it comes to extensive days and hours of field work. Indeed, Ho Jung is extremely grateful for being acknowledged for its dedication to perfect drone application in the field of precision mapping and survey. Uh, Ho Jung specia specializes in land survey that mandates minimum accuracy as part of the performance agreement. Ho Jung, uh, most of the projects completed by Ho Jung has required survey grade results and data processing engineers at Ho Jung are not satisfied to settle with results of anything worse than 5 centimeter GSD accuracy. Ho Jung takes this recognition to heart as a mandate to forge more partnership in Africa and um, cooperate with them to deliver more innovative practical solutions wherever it is needed. During the Lake Kibu Challenge Africa Drone Forum, Ho Jung established several strategic partnerships via MOU and made the commitment to invite them to Korea. In the last months of 2020, we stepped up to the commitment made in Rwanda and extended training invitations to Uhuru Labs of Tanzania and Senegal Flying Labs of, from Senegal to Busan and Taejeon to spend three weeks touring Yukon system and training with Ho Jung and the fixed wing Remo M drone. Pusan Techno Park sponsored a special training program in Pusan at a drone lab with hands-on experience in drone assembly, maintenance, and operations. This was a meaningful time uh, for Ho Jung. Spent time with our partnership to discuss and plan future potential projects with Uhuru Labs and Senegal Flying Labs. Yukon System for this occasion donated Remo M's to our partners to deploy in Africa. 
Leveraging from the recognition at the Lake Kivu Challenge, Hojong participated in another World Bank project with the Ministry of Urban Development and Land of Afghanistan, MUDL. Despite the strict travel restrictions imposed by current COVID uh, pandemic, MUDL engaged Hojong Solution to introduce drone-based data acquisition for land management, including creating a training program for the operation of the remo M and the use of LiDAR mounted on hexacopter from mobile tech. Uh, it took a lot of remote planning and co uh, cooperation between MUDL and Hojong and numerous video conferences. The company, the purpose of, and meaning of the Kibu Challenge from our perspective represents the dissemination of experience and technology in the field of drone to different parts of the world where benefits can be most impactful. Hojong engineers are passionate about drones. And the most exciting part of all is that we believe we have ample experience and technology worth to be shared. The Lake Kivu Challenge in the forum creates a platform where companies like Hojang can feel confident to share the same fundamental values and outlooks regarding the future of drone application and to raise the motivation today to be actively engaged in this mission. Thank you very much for your time.